Okay, Assalamualaikum. Now I'm going to explain about the determination of normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain uh, in terms of the quantity. That means if you get a question, how are you going to determine the quantity? The quantity of your normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Okay, this is basically the formula that you use. So you have the opening work in progress. At the input, that is your material introduced plus the input from previous process. And then you will minus your closing work in progress. So you will get what is known as the production. Less your normal loss. So you will get your normal or expected production. And then you compare with your actual production. So if your actual production is less than, than, uh, less than the normal production as what we have seen before, so you will have a scenario of abnormal loss. On uh, the other hand, if your actual production is more than your normal production, you will have a scenario of abnormal gain. Alternatively, as I mentioned earlier, you can compare or you can look at it from the production perspective or you can look at it from the losses perspective. If your actual loss is more than your normal loss, you will have a scenario of abnormal loss. On the other hand, if your actual loss is less than your normal loss, then you will have abnormal gain. Okay, let's look at a figure, an example. If let's say your opening work in progress is 450, and then you have your input, that is your material introduced 1000, and you have from previous process input 8000. Okay, and then your closing WIP is given as 230 units. And your actual production is 8,100. Uh, 8, 8, okay, so opening WIP 450, material 1,000 from previous process is 8,000. Closing WIP 230 and actual production is 8,100 units. So required, determine the quantity, okay? You need to determine the quantity of normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Okay, one in scenario one or in situation one is when your normal loss is expected to be 10% from the production. So 10% of your production. Uh, what if your normal loss is uh, stated as 10% from the material inputs or C is when your normal loss is 10% from the total inputs? How are you going to do it? Okay, if uh, let's look at uh, A first. Normal loss is 10% from production. So, in, based on this question, so your OWIP or your opening WIP is 450. Okay, and then your material introduced just now 1,000 and 8,000. This one 1,000 and 8,000. Then less your closing WIP. So, 8,000 plus... Uh, uh, 8,000 plus 1,000, you've got 9,000 plus 450, you've got 9,450. That is your total input. Less your closing WIP, 230. So, your production is 9,220. So, the if the question state that the normal loss is expected to be 10% from the production. Okay, 10% from production. So, your production is 9,220. 20. So, normal loss is 10% of that. So, 10% out of your 9,220, that gives you 922. Okay? So, uh, that is your normal loss. So, if that is your normal loss, so normal production will be 8298 and the actual production given in the question just now is 8,100. This one given in the question, your actual production is 8,100. If your actual production is 8,100 and you expect your production to be 8,298, so that means you have a scenario of abnormal loss. You have more. You have, uh, you have more, sorry, you have um, more, the, the, the normal production is more than what you, uh, the actual production. Uh, so, in this case, you have your abnormal loss of 198. That is the difference between 8298 and 8100. If, let's say, the question mentioned that the normal loss is expected to be 10% from the material inputs. So, how you determine the material input? So, material inputs will be your 1000, this one, material introduced and your 
uh, input from the previous process that is 8,000. So when you calculate your normal loss, normal loss is 10% of 9,000. So 9,000 uh, 9, times 10% gives you 900. So in that case, your normal loss is 900. Okay. Then you proceed with the same uh, formula here. That means your uh, production is 9220 less your, norm, less your normal loss. That means your normal output is 8320. And your actual production given in the question is 8100. In that case, you will have a scenario of abnormal loss of 220. What I want to highlight is just that if that question mentioned that uh, the normal loss is calculated as a percentage of production what uh, regardless of whatever percentage given in the question but if it is stated that as a percentage from production you determine the production as OV plus your input less your CWIP. So you will get a figure. That figure is known as your production and then take whatever percentage from there to calculate your uh, normal loss and then determine the abnormal loss or abnormal gain from that scenario. Part B, if let's say the question mentioned that that is a percentage, that is your normal loss is a percentage from your material inputs. So material inputs is calculated as your input from that, uh, the materials that you have in your input. So in this case, 1000 and 8000. Then take whatever percentage given in the question. So that will be your normal loss. Part C, if let's say the question mentioned that the normal loss is expected to be a certain percentage from the total inputs. So total inputs will be your opening WIP at all your input. For in this case, your opening WIP is 450 and your input just now is 9000. So 9000 plus 450 gives you 9450. So you take whatever percentage given from this figure that is, uh, in this case, it is a 10, uh, it is 10%. So 10% 10 from 9450 gives you 945. So that is your normal loss. And then you continue to determine the amount of abnormal loss or abnormal gain that you're going to. Have. So that is basically things that I want to highlight here. That is, if let's say the question asks you to take a certain percentage from production, so you take it from the production. If it is from your material input, that will be from your material input. If it is from your total input, that means it you have to add your opening WIP. Okay, hopefully you clear on this. Uh, next, I'm going to conduct my... Uh, next lecture so my lecture will be uh, i will uh, split my lecture this is i'm going to uh, provide uh, uh, to give you a comprehensive examples on the calculation of the process costing that means how to prepare the process account but my lecture will be split into four uh, four steps basically i will explain first about the simple process next i will explain about the closing work in progress Next, I will add on the opening work in progress. Then only what I will explain to you about the joint product and byproduct. Okay, with that, I thank you.